All right, I'm getting ready for a selections meeting, and these are the things that we're going to need for the meeting. You need the blueprint, you need their pricing, survey, anything that uh, you've put together for the build so far, because all of those things are going to help you fill out the selections form. And usually what I'll do is pre-fill in a lot of the selections form based off of the the home pricing. A lot of the items on the selections form, like for example, foundation is the first category. Is it a nine foot basement? Is it an eight foot basement? That'll be in the pricing. A lot of the things on the selection form will be in the pricing. So before you even have the meeting, pre-fill all of that in so when you do have the meeting, you can just fill in the blanks of the things that you need to get selected while you're meeting with them. So typically what I'll do is I'll pre-fill in the selections form and then I'll go ahead and get everything set up on the countertop as far as you know siding sample colors, garage door samples, everything that we need to make all of the selections. Because in order to get started on a home build, we have to have all of the selections done and that selection form needs to be signed off on. So there might be a couple of things that don't get decided during the selections meeting. Maybe there's a question with something. Maybe they wanna know how much more it is to do this front door as opposed to the one you have figured into their pricing. So then you need to find out what the price is for that by calling Blifford Lumber or emailing them, getting the price for that door, letting them know the difference, and then they can decide which one that they wanna make. You have the initial selections meeting, and then there's definitely going to be follow-up and making sure that you get all of the selections completed, and then ultimately having them sign off on it, and you're good to go with that part of it. The blueprint will also have the rest of the information that you need to pre-fill in the selections forms. There's gonna be certain things that you'll need to refer to on the, on the blueprint. Is there a whirlpool? Is there a tile shower? How many fireplaces? Is there a covered screen and porch? Things like that. So on the selections form, there's all kinds of different selections, selections to choose. So say they're gonna choose white for the windows. We can get rid of all the other colors that are on there because it just kind of adds confusion and makes it look cluttered. So highlight in green the selections that they make. All right, I'll start getting everything I need for the selections meeting. So we've got cabinet samples, got our siding samples, windows, garage doors. So we'll get everything set up on the countertop out there. Right. You want to get everything set up by category. So everything for exterior, keep in one spot. Everything for interior doors, trim work, keep in another spot. Plumbing, another area. That way it's all kind of organized. All right, so the selections meeting went well. One thing that I do when I'm meeting with somebody is I have the plan out along with the pricing. And as we're doing selections, there's things that naturally come up on the plan that need to be adjusted. For example, they may want to add shake siding in a gable where there's currently not. So I can make that note on the plan. When I get done with the selections meeting, I've got more notes on the plan. I can get the plan revised to reflect that. Same thing with the pricing. If they want to upgrade something, they want to do white cabinets instead of stain now, I can make a note on their pricing so that I can get the pricing revised. But the meeting went good and that'll conclude this selections video. Thank you.